Hey everyone, I got an inconvenient truth here and um, um, you need to buckle up because uh, we're going to cover some uh, controversial stuff right now. Controversial in the sense of there are people who do not want us talking with each other about this. They do not want me sharing any of this information with you, but not controversial in the sense that uh, it's disproven or it's some kind of conspiracy theory. What I'm going to tell you is absolute fact which has been proven by scientists and, and everything. So buckle up your seatbelts and let's hop into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And this channel is dedicated to getting the truth out. Uh, you guys want the truth and you, you're you not finding it on the mainstream media and you're looking to channels like this one uh, where we're just trying to tell you what's going on. And uh, you guys help with that telling. So um, before we dive into this controversial stuff, uh, please hit the thumbs up button and uh, uh, make a comment too if you can uh, just to kind of help the algorithm a little bit because I know the algorithm is going to go after this video. And uh, there's probably a wonderful little comment down below from the community a community post uh, letting us know uh, all sorts of stuff about why this video is wrong on everything. All right, so we've been told that uh, islands across the world are going to be disappearing, right? Now, of course, you, you look at uh, where Obama bought his, uh, his house and you go, well, that doesn't make sense with that, right? We're being told that all the, the nasty, awful stuff like we do, that like, like breathing and eating meat and, and hunting and, and, and farming and uh, all these horrible things like planting forests and um, you know driving cars, this is what's causing these islands to disappear. Now we're told this so many times that there are like, there are kids who are having emotional nervous breakdowns. Um, I just saw a video of uh, Greta Thunberg was, uh, was, was at some protest and she got arrested and she was hauled off by like several police officers and she seemed to be having the time of her life getting manhandled by, uh, by some big guys. Uh, you know, she's probably used to being around soy boys and she doesn't understand uh, <laughs> that kind of thing. But she was tickled to death that she was getting attention and uh, uh, she was out there because she has fears and nightmares and she has um, emotional distress over the, the fate of these islands that are going to be disappearing. Um, so we hear people just constantly repeating that refrain. Um, well, they actually did a study. I don't know if you know about this, but uh, uh, we have these things called satellites up in orbit around the planet. And they, uh, they can measure how much land there is on the planet. And uh, over the past 30 years, since 1990, We've been told by these people who are like, you know, islands are disappearing, that water levels across the entire world have risen by about one centimeter. And then that's like, what, that much? So small, you might have a hard time measuring it, so to speak, right? But it's supposedly gone up by one centimeter over the past 30 years. Now, you may think that that's a really big problem and that, uh, that you should dedicate your life to um, drinking out of paper straws in order to save the planet and stuff like that. We won't talk about why paper straws actually take more energy to produce than plastic straws because that's a conversation for another day and uh, the people that need to hear that won't listen to it anyway. But since 1990, and we have this sea rise, right? We have a net increase of 157 square kilometers, 157.2 square kilometers more land outside the water than is inside the water or underwater, right? We're talking about lots of islands have expanded their surface level above, above ground. This is worldwide. 157.2 square kilometers more land in the past 30 years uh, today than 30 years ago. So we're told that the sea levels have risen and you're supposed to believe that with, with no question whatsoever, right? But we also have a study showing that there is literally more land today than there was 30 years ago. And if you go back even further, there's more land than there was um, even longer ago. Uh, one of the things that's uh, been interesting is uh, I've, I've traveled a little bit around the world and one of the places I traveled a fair bit was in Turkey. 
And uh, I remember going to a, a, a city that appears in the Bible, Perga. And uh, so I went to Perga, and uh, it was a port city in Roman times. And so a major port city on the, on the, uh, the Mediterranean. So I was like, okay. I went to see the ruins of the city and everything like that. And they're like, and this is where the port was. And I was, you know, I was kind of seeing my sights and everything like that. And then I remember thinking to myself, and I finally asked the tour guide, I'm like, well, where's the ocean? And they're like, oh, it's like two kilometers over that way. And I was like, well, why would you build a port two kilometers from the ocean, <laughs> right? You know, that, that, was, that was my, you know, like, is this a river? I mean, like, do they take their boats up the river? And like, what? And they're like, no, um, back 2,000 years ago, the, the, the river was here. I, and the ocean was here. Um, but uh, in the past 2,000 years, it's, it's two kilometers that way now. And just kind of goes to show you that just uh, things are different than the way they were before, right? Um, there's a lot of land that's above water that used to be underwater, right? I mean, you, you see fossils out there and all that kind of stuff like that. So over the past 30 years, we, have we now have more land. So hopefully the, uh, the water level continues to go up uh, so that we can continue to have more land. Um, and if... Uh, and if that's hurting your brain right there, it's called a joke. Uh, <laughs> um, there, there, there's some young people there trying to do their common core math, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, so, wait. so higher sea levels are supposed to give us more land. H how is that supposed to work? Well, that's, that's what is actually happening. That's called science. And that should make you start questioning your hypothesis, right? Um, I don't know if they teach that anymore. I, they may have tossed that out with the common core thing. Uh, but the Pacific Islands uh, of Tuvalu, Tuvalu have grown by 2.9%. This is, this is an island chain that, oh man, they get foaming at the mouth. They're like, these islands are going to disappear. They're going to be gone. Just, just in a few decades, they're going to be gone. Well, their land mass has increased by 2.9%. That's a lot more land. They're, they're growing. These islands are getting bigger. Um, and you're saying, well, that's not how things work, Steve. Like, there's, there's, there's cycles and there's thermal belts and there's... Listen, friends, you're telling me that water levels have gone up and I'm telling you that there's more land above water than there was before. So both these can't really be true. And trust me, the people getting paid billions and billions of dollars to say this are the ones saying this. And the people not being funded are the ones saying this. So, I, 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 money talks. Um, money talks. People do what they're paid to do. The Maldives, also it's one of these island nations that's going to be devastated by this, uh, they increase land mass. And if I may be so bold, maybe even the beachfront property in front of Obama's uh, mansion may have increased as well, but I don't have the data on that one. Someone will have to do a study for me to, to answer that. But so this scientific study by scientists concluded that, quote, sea level rise is not a prominent cause of changing coastlines. Hmm. Whoa. That's, that's, that's inconvenient. <laughs> totally inconvenient, right? To the people who are making billions of dollars off of this hustle, um, that is truly an inconvenient fact out there, isn't it? That we have sand getting pushed up on shore. We have sand being ripped away from shore. Some sand's being ripped away from this shore and being pushed up on that shore over there. It's not so straightforward as, oh, well, everywhere the water level's the same and it's going up by a little bit. Right. If you've ever been to the ocean, if you know anything at all, if you're not, you know, if you've ever been around the ocean and you're not as dumb as a rock, you know there's this thing called tides, right? Where the water level comes up and the water level comes down. And in between the tides, there's these things called waves, right? Just so the water level goes up and the water level goes down. It's like, how do you measure that exactly um, evenly, right? You can look at like the highest point it's ever come up to. 
but then you have these rogue waves that can cost toss that number a little bit out. So it, it's, it's not super straightforward to measure exactly where we are. And then on top of that, then you're going to then get into this being a centimeter, centimeter, 10, 10 millimeters. We're talking a one hundredth of a meter. I know for most of the Americans there, it's just like, what's a meter? Um, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's a yard, of course. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the British, it's the uh, European name for a yard, right? Um, and don't correct me in the comments. I know, I know, I'm joking. I'm joking, but I'm sort of joking. Anyway, uh, so we have... Uh, so we have this, this tiny, tiny little bit, and yet when we look at the grand scheme of things, like, okay, so how is this impacting the planet? The answer is we have more land mass. And the islands that are supposed to be sinking beneath the waves are actually doing okay. In fact, they're doing better than they were before. Friends, these islands' health is really going to come down to sand that's getting deposited, sand that's getting stripped away, Coral that's growing, which coral is growing around the world. In fact, coral uh, health has actually been dramatically improving. Um, so all in all, the world is a big place. Now, I'm not saying there aren't people that do some terrible things to the planet. There are, there's a lot of pollution out there that is really, really awful. I'm, I'm sitting here in India right now. There's some ridiculous pollution that happens here in this country. There is a ridiculous amount of pollution that happens up in China. Um, and when you look at all the plastic in the ocean, the plastic in the ocean is not coming from the United States, okay? It's not coming from Europe. So if you want to be in the United States, like, I'm not going to drink out of a plastic straw because it could end up in the nose of a sea turtle. Friend, take your plastic straw and put it in the garbage. Or if you, if you want to, you know... <laughs> do some virtue signaling. You can put it in the recycle bin, but then they'll throw in the garbage for you. It's okay. Um, uh, I've, been, uh, I've been wanting to do a little experiment. You guys tell me if I should do this experiment. Um, I want to get two Apple Air Tags, and I want to put one in the garbage, and I want to put one in the recycle bin and see what happens, see where they go. Um, let me know down, down in the comments if you want to see that experiment done, uh, because I suspect that we will find that they both end up in the same landfill. Anyway, um, <laughs> not going to be recycling that. Uh, not going to be recycling that air tag. Anyway, uh, so uh, all that to say, we have a lot of disinformation happening out there. A lot of disinformation, and the disinformation is coming from the people accusing other people of disinformation, and that's really, really interesting, isn't it? The people that want to silence everyone are the ones lying to us. The people who are wanting freedom of speech tend to be the people who are actually speaking the truth. And uh, it's funny how that works, isn't it? Well, as a, as a member of the Free Speech Society of the United States and the world, uh, I'm so glad that you guys are here to uh, uh, hop in the comment section down below and uh, let us know what you guys think, because uh, that's what this is about. Uh, anything that's censored is by YouTube or because you used a really naughty word. So, um, yeah, if you want to try the F word, it, it does get censored on this channel. Sorry, uh, but uh, I want to keep kid friendly. There are a couple other strong words that, uh, that do uh, get uh, automatically censored. But uh, other than that, I don't delete stuff off this channel unless you, um, uh, unless you insult another viewer. Like if you're really mean to another viewer, um, that's, that, that will get deleted. Um, generally, if you say something mean about me, I'll, I'll let it go. Um, but if you say something really mean about another viewer um, that didn't ask for it or whatever, um, that's, that's it. Now, if you're both insulting each other, then I'll just kind of let you, <laughs> let you have your thing. Anyway, uh, that's, that's, if you weren't aware, that's basically what I do here. Uh, mostly it's uh, let, let roam. If you're selling Bitcoin or you're selling some sort of scam, uh, that will get banned. Um, that gets reported and banned. If you see someone doing that, uh, do report them uh, to YouTube because they're not allowed to do that on YouTube and they're not allowed to do that here either. So uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. I'll see you over there or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar, The Poplar Report, out.